and going to the game. Look, we have got rain and we're going to have storms by the time you're getting out. Want to point this out. Low pressure to the west. Right now that wind is really blowing, gusting to 44. But as the low moves in, those winds are going to increase even more. So, of course, we have a weather alert night. We're going to have a line of rain and storms moving our way from west to the east, and it's going to be from 8 o'clock until about midnight. So be aware we've got storms moving our way. This is the area of low pressure, and it's so intense that we actually have a storm warning in effect for our area. So I'm going to zoom in. So far now, ooh, wait, one, two, three, four, uh, at least seven tornadoes have been reported. Scattered rain now. We're likely to have a tornado watch posted just to our west and then it could be extended our way. So we have what is called an enhanced risk for severe storms. Scale of one to five, it's a three. And the biggest concern is that we're gonna have strong damaging winds in these storms. Could be up to 58 miles per hour, but there is also a risk that we could have a strong tornado, EF2 or higher, and we've already seen this system creating tornadoes. There is a high wind warning. So as the low pressure moves our way, our winds are going to increase. Could get up to 55 knots. So wait, you're driving east-west in an elevated vehicle. That wind is going to be blowing you around. I'm also expecting power outages. Look, you can see especially on the North Shore, but also into South Mississippi, possible on the South Shore as well with these strong winds. There is the storm warning. So, you know, we think of this with tropical storms. This is an area of low pressure over land, but it is really causing our winds to increase. Mariners, you do not want to go offshore. There is a coastal flood advisory. So what's happening, that wind is pushing water on shore. Look, lower Tangipaho, lower St. Tammany, and also Hancock County. This is where you're going to have the highest rise. I'm expecting low-lying property to flood. You could have roads, some houses, some uh, businesses that could flood. So that is a concern. Right now, the wind 10, 24, 23 miles per hour, gusting 33, 39 earlier gusted to 44 miles per hour. So let's look at the forecast. Eight o'clock, now some of that heavier rain moving into Tangipaho Parish. So remember I showed you earlier storms moving north and storms moving east. You always look for that because you can get some rotation. Here we are, nine o'clock, it's over the northern portion of Tangipaho Parish. This is 10 o'clock. You've got a bow echo right over the lake. You've got it over here by Bogalusa. You've got it down here by Lafouche. That's where you can get those strong winds. Locally heavy rain, 11 o'clock over the Slidell twin span into the metro, Chalmette, down towards Bell Chase. A little bit of a bow along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Midnight, now a little bit more to the east over by Gulfport. Then it's moving east and out and our weather improves. In the morning, kind of chilly, still breezy. And then look during the day, you get breaks in the clouds and we warm up. It is not warming up much <laughs> into the low to the mid 50s. Wait for it, going into Thursday morning, frost possible on the North Shore. And then Friday, I'm expecting a light freeze. So tonight, between 8 and midnight, that's the timeline, windy still on Wednesday, and I'm telling you, Thursday through Saturday, look fab, rain returns on Sunday.